Hi, this is Michelle Schneider, Mish, Director of Trading Education Research at MarketGage.com. And since we are heavy into earnings season, I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to trade actively after a report. So for example, if you get a big gap, the bigger the gap, the tighter your time frame is going to be in terms of an entry. So assuming we have a pretty big gap, and when I say a big gap, I'm going to say more than 2-3% either higher or lower, you can look at a two-minute opening range, which basically means that you wait for the first two minutes to go by, and then you have a high and a low. If it takes out the high, you can buy it for a day trade and put your stop right underneath the low. If it breaks down under the low, if it gaps lower, then you could put your stop over that two-minute high. If the gap is more modest, say half a percent to two percent, then you can do the exact same thing except use a five-minute time frame. So you would wait for five minutes to go by. On the sixth minute, you would want to see that range break and maybe give it a confirm for another minute or so. So within six or seven minutes, you're going to follow that gap. Again, this is for an active day trade, but it's a really good way to get the follow through after seeing the initial dust sell settle on these huge big cap tech stocks that are about to report this week. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.